Hi Virgo, it's Raina. So I'm doing brief three card spreads for all of the signs. Well, Leo, I drew an extra card, but uh, in any case, I wanted to talk about the partial lunar eclipse, which is occurring on March 23rd at three degrees of Libra. And this falls in your second house of earned income. So this is very good for possible enhancement of your income because remember that the full moon is what the lunar eclipse is although it's much more powerful and longer lasting and sometimes full moons can relate to endings but sometimes there's a culmination in terms of someone you know finally getting their due or getting recognition or you know kind of a swelling of sorts and it could be a swelling of income and so you might be raking it in at this time if it is an ending i feel that there's a lot of creative energy for you and you're going to be generating different sorts of income streams so it's not like you're going to be left high and dry and because you are in the midst of jupiter a jupiter transit through your own sign, I think that you're always divinely protected with whatever happens during the course of the next few months. As for the cards I picked, oh my goodness gracious, and they seemed rather dramatic. And I remembered that you have the sun in your seventh house, as well as some of this other energy like Venus and you just had this total solar eclipse there. The seventh house is a house of committed partnerships in Pisces, all of this energy focus there. And even though a solar eclipse can bring in new things, it can be a rather unstable energy. So it is possible that there have been a lot of changes in your love life. And the card I got for you right now is the five of wands. So there may be a lot of contention for some reason. Perhaps this has to do with a divorce case for some of you because the seventh house can deal with legal matters. It also can just be friendly competition. And so if you're in the initial stages of getting to know someone and you know that they are also seeing somebody else, you may be trying to be the number one person in their life. I picked a card for the advice for this period of time and I got the two of swords. So it's all about making a decision. Again, it depends on the scenario, obviously, for some people that are dealing with um, rivals, if you're in a love triangle, then it's not necessarily about waiting for them to decide. Maybe you need to take action and to really have some pride and not allow somebody else to dictate what you're going to tolerate. Because if you're in a humiliating position, the bottom line is that you teach people how to treat you. And if you allow certain things, and Virgo sometimes can be a doormat, like your sister sign, Pisces, because you are a very helpful person. You like to be of service, but don't get so servile that you allow yourself to get taken advantage of and also taken for granted. And actually the five of wands, that first card is about standing up for yourself. So maybe you have decided that you're up to here with that kind of behavior with your partner. And the card I drew for the outcome is the Queen of Cups in reverse. And I think this is more of a cautionary card than anything else. I don't really connect this card to Virgo energy in general. It's kind of the shadow side of the female. And it's that manipulation, that jealousy. It's when you don't listen to your higher self and I feel that this is going to be the outcome if you don't make the right decision. And the way that you make the right decision is to do the exact opposite of what this card represents. And the upright version of the Queen of Cups is a woman who is in touch with her 
psychic qualities and she's a nurturing person. The reversed card represents selfishness, you know, that kind of bitchy behavior. And again, I don't really associate Virgos with this. However, it is possible that you have Virgo rising and you have a sun sign in possibly Scorpio or Taurus. And these are signs that are known to be more jealous or possessive. And this is warning you against that type of behavior. If you are a male Virgo or Virgo rising and you choose somebody for the wrong reasons, you may end up with a woman with this, these qualities. So that wouldn't be very cool. It could also indicate for you women that there's another woman perhaps who you're competing with. If you have a man cheating on you, let him have her. They deserve each other. That's the best I can say about that. So I hope you enjoyed this reading Virgo. And if you'd like a personalized reading, click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great rest of the month. Bye.